Welcome to the CS Rehab Channel. A lot of us would sit at our desk in front of a computer for long hours nowadays, and that's why we are seeing a lot of people coming into our clinic suffering from some common office injuries. That's why we've opened up this channel to address some of the issues. Today, we're going to discuss a few simple exercises that we can do even in our office at your workstation to help improve flexibility and to help relieve those tired muscles. Today, we're going to focus on a neck area, which is a common area of pain and fatigue. When most of us would sit like this, with rounded shoulders, forward head, and slouching all day long. So I've picked out three simple exercises to help relieve the tensions in our scalenes and sternocleidomastoid muscle, the upper trapezius muscle, and the levator scapular muscles. The first exercise, we're gonna stretch out our scalenes and the sternocleidomastoid muscle. To start, we're gonna sit relaxed with our feet planted onto the ground, and we would like to stabilize the side that we want to stretch. Let's say the right side. So let's use the left hand to stabilize our right collarbone. Yep. And then you will bend your head backward. Side bend to the left side. Keep in mind that when you're side bending, and then you're gonna rotate your head to the right side with your eyes looking up to the corner on the right. When you feel the stretch, you're gonna hold the stretch for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you can relax and return to your original position. And you can do this stretch two more times, so a total of three repetitions. So the second exercise, we're gonna stretch out the upper trapezius muscle. Same thing. You're gonna sit relaxed, and if we wanna stretch out the right side, you will have to stabilize the right side. There are two ways of doing this. First way, you can sit on your right hand. Yep. And if this feels uncomfortable to you, you can take out your right hand and hold on to your seat, that's right. Once you've stabilized your right side, you're gonna bend your head sideways to the left. Now, some people would already feel that there's tension, there's a stretch when they do this. Then you can hold this position for 30 seconds. And if you don't feel anything yet, you can use your left hand to help you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your left hand and put it on top of your head here. Please do not pull your head hard. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna use your hand and just let gravity do the work for you and just let it drop. So then you feel a little bit more tension along the muscle here. And then you're gonna hold for 30 seconds. And keep in mind that your face still looks straight forward. After 30 seconds, you can return to your original position and relax. Okay, you can repeat this two more times, so a total of three repetitions. And the last exercise, we're gonna stretch out our levator scapular muscles. Once again, if you wanna stretch out the right side, you will have to stabilize the right side. So what you can do is to put your right hand behind your back. Then you're gonna turn your head and look towards your armpit on the left side. A lot of people can feel a stretch already when they look down towards the left armpit and you can hold that position for 30 seconds. If you don't feel anything, then you can use your left hand, put it on top of your head. Do not pull your head hard, just to let the gravity do the work and drop it a little bit. So then you feel a little bit more tension in your muscle and you can hold this position for 30 seconds. Keep in mind that your elbow points in the same direction as your nose. Okay, so after 30 seconds, you can relax and return to your original position. And you can repeat this two more times, a total of three repetitions. So all these three exercises that I've just taught you guys, I would recommend you guys to do them three to five times throughout the day. Each time will be three repetitions. I hope today's video is helpful. And of course, exercises need to be combined with a healthy lifestyle. And you need to keep working on these exercises for you to see a result. 
And if you do feel any discomfort when you're doing these exercises, please don't force yourself to continue. And please stop if you do feel any serious pain and to seek medical attention as soon as possible. Please subscribe to our channel if you would like to receive more healthy exercise tips, and we'll see you next time.